is he? The court is Drown. Drown. Is the son of Mariana's slave, Rachel? What a splendid animal you would be, huh? Stripped down, naked. Oui. Perhaps a good fighting nigger. Quel dommage. Dommage? Yes, pity a body like that, surrounded by beautiful women, being wasted as a bartender. You know, I wouldn't mind owning you. Cher de Marigny. I didn't know you were in the market for a stud. I'm always in the market for a young stud. Marcel Lazar. Five rounds. You shall be rewarded. You have already rewarded me. Blaze, that piece of merit is no reward. What would you like, Brown? Name anything. A woman. A woman? A woman of my own. <laughs> oh, Trevier. You shall have your wish. Lazar, get that flesh peddler Maspero. Tell him to bring his best stock of wenches and parade them. Before I drown. In giving you this beautiful woman to enjoy whenever you want. I would like to join you. She's mine. You said so yourself. She's mine alone. Oh, don't worry. I don't want your woman, Drum. You can have her all to yourself. But you. So beautiful, Bobby. which were plantations used to break the slaves. And one plantation or one place that had a lot of seasoning plantations was Jamaica. And people have to wonder, what were they doing on these seasoning plantations that was worse than 
what was happening on the regular plantations. Well, one thing that they were doing on these plantations, especially in Jamaica, they were doing a process called buck breaking, where the white supremacist slave owner or the white supremacist um, overseer would literally rape black men in front of the whole black population in order to break his spirit, in order to break him down as a man, in order to show dominance against him, in order to show the rest of the black population that this is not your leader. I just made your leader submit to me sexually. And this happened a lot in Jamaica. This is why homosexuality is so looked down upon in Jamaican culture today. And it was a way primarily of cutting down those who would rebel. In other words, it was it was a matter of power and control and domination. And they would call it buck busting, but it was really butt busting. But let's go deeper. Let's talk about the early whites. We said if you want to know how people view themselves, look at their art right. and look at their philosophy. Right. Well, here's one of the greatest European quote unquote philosophers of all time. Right. Calls himself Plato. Let's see what Plato tells us about how whites perceive themselves. Hmm. Homosexuality alone is capable of satisfying a man's highest and noblest aspirations. Hmm. And the love between man and woman, when spoken of at all, is altogether inferior. Hmm. Homosexuality alone is capable of satisfying a man's highest and noblest aspirations. Hmm. And the love between man and woman, when spoken of at all, is altogether inferior. A purely physical impulse whose sole logic is appropriation of life. I'm going to say that one again. This European is telling us homosexuality alone is capable of satisfying a man's highest and noblest aspiration. In other words, on a spiritual chain for black people, the most spiritual, sacred thing that you can have is a man and a woman coming together because they can go to this thing called a wedding, they can commit themselves to one another, and they can go into a life together. The European sees it very different. The highest point on the Europeans, if you want to call that a spiritual chain, help me out. The highest point on this spiritual chain is for two males to involve each other in some type of sexual perversion. And then he makes a war statement that we got to understand as a war statement. He says, and the love between man and woman, when spoken of at all, is altogether inferior. See, that's a war statement because the highest thing on our chain is the love between man and woman. The highest thing on that chain is between male and male. And he said it's not even important what's going on between man and woman. So if we ever get into a situation where they have power over us, we have a major conflict. Yeah, we got that conflict, don't we? Well, brothers and sisters, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to help me with this lecture. I'm not